Body language by the youth transition team. What is body language? Body language refers to the nonverbal signals that we use to communicate. According to experts, these nonverbal signals make up a huge part of daily communication. From our facial expressions to our body movements, the things we don't say can still convey volumes of information. Let's watch this video. She spends most of her day interacting with customers and coworkers. There's a lot of talking involved, but there's also another form of nonverbal communication that's being used just as often. Body language. Body language is the process of communicating through nonverbal signals. It includes things like our posture, facial expressions, gestures, and more. The meanings of these all vary from culture to culture, but we instinctively read body language and interpret it as some expression of moods, feelings, or intentions. So in Alice's case, even before she speaks, she may be communicating all kinds of things to customers. For example, if her arms are crossed and she's avoiding eye contact, customers may not find her to be very approachable. However, Alice could be in a friendly mood, even though her body language suggests otherwise. And this isn't necessarily a conscious choice that she's made. This could just be how she habitually presents herself. But if Alice is aware of these habits, she can work on improving her body language. Changing your habits can be difficult, but if you take time to pause and check in with yourself, you can start to notice them and adjust things to become a better nonverbal communicator. This awareness can also be applied to reading others' body language. Let's say Alice notices that her coworker is unusually quiet, has his body turned away from her, and is slouched over. She may pick up that he's upset, or that there's an unspoken issue at hand. Depending on Alice's relationship with him, she may want to give him some space, or ask if anything's wrong. Being aware of the various aspects of body language can make all the difference in how people perceive you and how you perceive them. Be aware of how you present yourself and you can say a lot without speaking. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life. Body language is the unspoken element of communication that we use to reveal our true feelings and emotions like our gestures, facial expressions, and posture, for example. When we can read these signs, we can use it to our advantage. For example, it can help us to understand the whole message someone is trying to say to us and to help enhance our awareness of people's reactions to what we say and do. How can being aware of negative body language in others helps us help us? Difficult or tense conversations are an uncomfortable fact of life at work. Perhaps you'll have to deal with a difficult customer or need to talk to someone about their performance. Ideally, these situations will be resolved calmly, but often they are complicated by feelings of nervousness, stress, defensiveness, or even anger. Although we may try to hide them, these emotions often show through in our body language. Examples of negative body language. Arms folded in front of your body, minimal or tense facial expression, body turned away from you, eyes downcast, maintaining little contact. Signs people are bored, sitting slumped with heads downcast, gazing at something else or into space, fidgeting, picking at clothes, or fiddling with pens or phones, writing or doodling. How can you project positive body language? Have an open post posture. Be relaxed, but don't slouch. Sit or stand upright and place your hands at your sides. Avoid putting them on your hips. Use a firm handshake, but don't get too carried away. Too firm shows aggression, and too weak shows lack of confidence. 
maintain good eye contact. Try to hold each other's gaze for a few seconds at a time, but avoid a staring match. When on an interview, what should you do to look confident? Relax your body, keep hands still, maintain good posture and eye contact. Look interested. As suggested, touching your face can signal dishonesty, but it can also demonstrate that you're thinking. If you're asked a complex question, it's okay to briefly touch your cheek or stroke your chin. This shows that you're a, you are reflecting on your answer before you respond. Thank you.